Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've made one so um, yeah we've got a huge collection to go over and eager to get started so as you can see there's a there's a lot to get to walking about so we're going to start from the left and work our way across to the right and I'll just take you through the entire sort of collection that I've got on display at the moment. So let's get stuck in. Start with Weta's King Thraw on statue. So this one, I love this one. I love the colors on him. I love the gold um, highlights on his um, on his armor. And I love the stone, the Arkan stone. Uh, it's just all lots of little different materials they've used. And I love how it all comes together to really, I mean, it's like he's actually sat there. It's that realistic how they've done that. Um, obviously the key, can't be without the key. Uh, so now I've got a little bit on my Star Wars Hot Toys uh, collection, starting with, obviously, Boba Fett. Um, got him quite recently, actually. Um, took, the, took the leap. Um, got the Mandalorian ordered as well. He's, he's coming, obviously, next year, but this one is just fantastic. I love the detail. Um, I just love all the little bits and pieces he comes with. There's so many little accessories that I didn't even realise were there before. And obviously the Dark Lord himself. Amazing. I just wanted to really get in there and just show the quality that you're getting when you, when you go with Hot Toys. Or Sideshow for that matter, because I know there's a debate on the two, but... Yeah, both are very good in my opinion. This one's a Hot Toys version, and... Um, yeah, I just love it. Uh, so moving on to Batman. And Joker, in fact, was one of the first, or was the first Hot Toys figure I actually purchased. And I remember looking at him on Google and just couldn't believe that he was a figure. And um, when I got the two together with Batman here, uh, Christian Bale was Batman, obviously Dark Knight Rises. Just amazing uh, armour. I love how it all sort of fits on there all the different textures, and then Joker obviously himself. The eyes on both these figures are movable with a little panel that comes off the back and uh, you can rotate the eyes around so that it looks like they're actually following you around the room. Um, and I love how they've tarnished the makeup slightly on the Joker here, obviously so it's like the um, interrogation room. Uh, this one was the uh, special edition. It came with the um, bank robber mask and the little detonator as well. Just incredible detail. And I just had to show you the socks as well. Because <laughs> I just think that's something else that is a little, little touch there. Superman. One of my favourites. Mr. Reeve. Evil Superman. I just uh, can't believe how they've Hot Toys really nailed it on the look um, there, and it's just flawless to me. Um, I love the fact that you've got this um, stand that comes with it, so you could have him sort of flying almost or hovering or whatever you want, and then obviously the detail on the scenery on the floor there. Iron Man Mark Seven. This is a die cast version, so it's. Quite a heavy figure, this one. Uh, it all lights up and everything, the eyes and the hands and the chest. And um, comes with Tony Stark's face as well. But I think because it's die cast, it really like lends itself to looking like it's a metal, you know, looks like the object's meant to be. I think Hot Toys really did well with that. And yet you can still have the posability of it. So moving across, uh, a bit more Lord of the Rings. Uh, ring wraith on horseback this time. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal statue. I just love it. I love the scale of it. It's as you can see, it's huge. And um, sideshow didn't spare on the detail either. Um, you know, you got lots of little daggers and the sword that he comes with. He's got changeable hands, and uh, I just think I just love the level of detail on it. 
So we go on to something much smaller. This is the Toy Biz collection now. I've reduced it a lot because a lot have gone into storage because I wanted to bring a lot uh, of my other collection into play here. But I just wanted to show you some of my custom figures that I've done here. So we've got the helmets and the shield here that I made. Because uh, I just felt that Toy Biz didn't quite make enough in their range of Urukai and I just wanted to really sort of make the army here, you know. You've got the general with the handprint on there. Crossbow Urukai. Sapper Urukai in the background. And across to the Pikesman, one of my favourites. And course the Berserker Urukai. This is the one carrying the torch so on this one I um, painted him up a little bit to look like the film and then obviously gave him the torch and uh, yeah I love that scene anyway so and again uh, customization used a Berserker helmet for this figure and the next one I'm about to show you put some cardboard onto there glued it together painted it up and um, yeah, I think the result is um, pretty close, you know, uh, for the scale that it is. I tried to keep it in keeping with the level of detail that you get with that scale of, of figure. And, um, yeah, I was quite pleased with the results, really. It's, um, it's still one of my favourite collections anyway to date. So, yeah, yeah, I enjoy sort of putting things together like that and making this army that I've done here. There's more I still want to add to it at a coming time, but... Um, yeah, as with all these things, you just enjoy doing that sort of thing. So just thought I'd share that with you. This one's a standard bearer. And then a few others underneath. We've got the Burger King Urukai. It's a shame that that was the only one that came with that helmet because I love, I love the way they've done the helmet on that one. And um, yeah. Another soldier of Rahiram, Gondorian soldier, and um, across to a scout Urukai, which I actually put one of the um, Bird King Urukai helmets on, because I just love the detail on that armour there, and I've painted the hand on there, so yeah, nice finishing touches. So, Prologue Elven Warrior. And another recent purchase, this was the um, Hobbit Hole of, of from Weta. And yeah, I mean, goes without saying really that I was just blown away with the level of detail for something that's quite small and um, intricate. And I just love how it's all come together. The colours as well, I often look at that and think, God, <laughs> I could live there. <laughs> And then the Gondorian Royal Guard, which I just put a little bit of uh, face mask on him. <laughs> um, just to tie him with the film a bit more. And then some Thunderbirds down at the bottom from Corgi. Just love that collection. And then Captain Scarlet. Okay, so moving along. We got Lurtz from Sideshow. Uh, yeah, I think this was the first statue I actually purchased and um, it took me a while. Um, had to look around for it because I unfortunately decided to make the purchase when it had already sold out at Sideshow. But um, I managed to find this one on eBay, like so many of them now. And yeah, I wasn't disappointed with the result. Um, just fantastic. Quartz scale. So again, it just looks huge. And um, yeah, they really pulled off the quality. And then Weta again, Elrond. Uh, I just love the armour on this one. I love the uh, the paintwork on there. Again, how they made it look like it's, you know, just the metal work and the crafting on the face. I think that Hugo weaving look, just they've got that there. Um, and yeah, it's just, I love the gold highlights on there. And then, yeah, Bard as well. Um, this one, I just love the movement in it. Yeah, and then Swordsman, Urukai, Weta again. Couldn't resist this one, I'm afraid. And um, again, the little highlights like the uh, shield on the broken shield on the floor, the armor. 
Yeah, they really went to town on that one. And then one of the Toy Biz uh, range, the um, Sauron, and then Asmus, uh, Witch King. And quarter scale Sauron from Sideshow. I mean, yeah, this one is just a centerpiece, really, to be honest. It's, um, <laughs> it's one of the first things you look at when you come in the room, and uh, I just love the detail they put on here and again the scale of it is just really impressive even down to the floor you know I mean the lava flow along the bottom there and the skulls and that it's just amazing how much effort they went to with that one so again this is six scale but sideshow this time um, scout trooper on speeder bike I, I've always loved a scout trooper I just think they're amazing the armor and yeah, I really enjoyed the little cameos that they had in the recent Mandalorian episode, and yeah, I just found that very entertaining, and um, it was good to see them. Cloud? On this Daytona? Final Fantasy? Uh, and the Marines from Aliens? From NECA? I just love the detail. You've even got a little cross around her neck. The little um, inscriptions they put on their armour. The lighting that they've got on their shoulder there. It's just for something so small, that level of detail is just amazing. It blows me away every time. And some of my other scale models. Astro Smith, Tiger One. Of course, a Hurricane. And just moving across to Boromir of Gondor. I just love this one. I love the pose. I love the movement suggestion with the cloak going around him. It's just... I love it. Carl Reese's trainers. <laughs> Never been brave enough yet to wear them out. <laughs> and then Hot Toys Predators range. love the helmets on these guys I enjoyed that film that was a good one love the fight scene at the end <laughs> Buzz, Woody, Ham <laughs> always got to have a bit of Toy Story in there <laughs> and then Emperor Zerg and Rex So, hope you enjoyed that little tour. Um, I mean, it's something I love to see all, all the time. I often come in here and just look at the the collection and it uh, just blows me away. Um, but I'll do some more, um, maybe do some more detailed ones on some of the figures. And um, yeah, see you guys soon.